Hello everybody, welcome back to LIG Gaming. I'm Ian and this is my video on how to build a shopping center for your Fallout 4 settlement. Uh, I'm doing this at Starlight Driving, uh, basically because it's one of the biggest areas to build and it's possibly one of the only settlements I've not actually built up on my main save now. Uh, didn't know what I was building to start with just kind of set it to record and started building and it turned out to be well a shopping center uh, as it's known now Starlight Galleries but I think I'm gonna work on the design a bit more this is kind of a basic model I'm gonna look at making it a bit more elaborate and possibly adding second stories and viewing galleries and I don't know, I might lead this on to my small arena, make it so the arena's part of the shopping gallery. I've not quite decided how I'm going to do it all yet, but we'll we'll see how that goes as I develop. As you can see, I, I did originally start building this using the concrete tab, uh, with a bit of metal thrown in, but it just it wasn't working, nothing was clicking, and it just didn't look right. So I made use of the barn tab, and some of the... Not the prefabs, but some of the materials you get within the barn tabs you don't get with any others. So it just it, it brought out the effect a lot better, made it look a lot better. Uh, it's a fairly long video, uh, 46 minutes are around there. Uh, originally it started out it was going to be a 20 minute video, but during the editing I couldn't decide what to cut out and what to keep. and. I don't know, it just ended up getting dragged out like this. As you can see, I, I do stop and pause a few times during it. I, can, I couldn't quite decide how I wanted to how I wanted to do everything on this. Uh, but, as you can see, I'm humming and ahhing as what to use. Uh, I originally I did originally try on the first recording that I did, I tried using the half pieces for this uh, rather than the longer full size height wise pieces on this, I tried using the half height pieces and then realised that the, I'd have to put a doorway for uh, every single one of the stalls so it wasn't really going to work and like I said the burn tab has pieces like this that happened to work perfectly for what I wanted at the time. I do tend to do a little bit of messing around, uh, trying to get things into place. I start out as a perfectionist and then get fed up as I go. Which makes for some rather interesting outtakes. I'll probably throw an outtake video up at one point. Makes for a long time building, much to my wife's dismay, she absolutely hates it because I tend to take up the big screen downstairs to do anything with my Fallout so I can actually see something on the screen and see properly. So she ends up sitting watching, staring at a screen for 3-4 hours while I mess around doing stuff like this. Always good to have an understanding wife. That and I buy a gobstoppers and colouring books and I don't hear from her for hours, it's brilliant. Best way to stop the nagging, buy them sweets and keep them entertained. Oh. As you can see, originally I, I put these in, like I said I was going to do a, a second floor and I was thinking if I put these in now I can use them as walkways. I was going to extend and take them roofs out, but as it turned out, I, I ended up with the perfect amount of stalls for doing all of the all of the stores that we actually have in the bar and everything. As you can see, I'm using the half height pieces again, trying to make the store uh, storefronts with them. But for some reason, no matter how I tried doing whatever I whatever I tried, I've actually cut a lot of it out. I I had about 20-25 minutes of me trying to get them to clip into place. I even tried using the rug glitch and it just it wouldn't go. 
so I ended up humming and ahhing for a few minutes trying to decide what to actually do and eventually I do actually come up with the idea of using the small fence panels out of the miscellaneous wood and using them to clip him kinda like no respawns does on his small shops to make his shop front so I tried doing that I think I spread them out here but I, if I remember correctly I do try putting one in without using the rug glitch to start with just to see if I can do it nope no nope, apparently I went straight with the rug glitch straight away I've left this part in because I took ages doing this and spent ages trying to get it lined up doing it this way from the back and as much as I tried I just could not for the life of me get it to click into place or go anywhere every time I got it into place as I went to press the button to place it it just shot off half a mile forward again just didn't work at all I thought this I'd leave this in show the mistakes that I make I didn't leave all my mistakes in the video would have been about two hours long and there's my little perfectionist part popping in again it's slightly out I think you see me go back a little bit later as well and clip them all into place because there's quite a few of them that are wrong here we go again I try yet again and yet again I fail I believe I even try using the other rug glitch to try and do it and it just won't sit on at all and it won't work. Obviously as you see me moving it forward then that's just keeping the A button and the the right trigger button pressed as I'm trying to move it forward but every time I go to place it just shoots forward again. No matter what I do it just keeps shooting forward it just will not do it at all. But Hey ho, what can I say? Uh, I will apologise now for the sound quality if it's not brilliant. My, I'm still working on the sound. I've just recently bought a new headset, the Microsoft LiveChat LX3000. It's quite good for when you're gaming online and when you're talking and doing live streams and things, but it doesn't doesn't seem to record that well when you're just doing voiceovers or anything. And on a couple of videos I've actually got it plugged into the PS4 and I'm actually speaking why I'm doing things and it's still just, the sound quality just doesn't seem right at all. So again, apologies for any of that, but I, it is something I have noticed and I am working on it. As you can see I was trying to use the other rug glitch there again and it just was not working at all. And there's about another 20 minutes of me messing around trying to do that. Which you thought I'd have learnt by now. And I do take a lot of inspiration on my builds from quite a few other YouTubers. Um, quite a lot from uh, No Respawns. Uh, RTC as well, especially for his armory and his junk decoration. I think that's quite good. Not too much for his bunkers. I, I tend not to like the concrete tab to be honest. It's good for some things and for making small bunkers and everything, but it's just the way it all clips in. It just doesn't quite seem right. I just, I don't know. I just don't like it. I mean, since the Far Harbor DLC came out and we got barns and everything, I, a lot of my builds I've actually been using mainly the barn, the barn tab. Hence why my first video on here is the Boston barn build which uh, another video will be up in the next couple of days where I've actually finished decorating that now uh, that video's in the process of being edited and rendered but as well as doing these videos and everything else I'm actually off off work on the 6th so I've no excuse I should be able to put 3-4 videos a day out currently laid up with my leg on crutches what you get for going too close to the back end of a cow. To 
clarify that I'm I actually work as a dairy herdsman. Uh, I don't just go and stand behind cows for the fun of it. Uh, I was trying to load some onto a trailer. They decided they didn't want to go, and she decided she was going to kick me. It was 15 weeks ago, and I still can't walk. Never annoy a cow. Cow tipping, not a good idea. But, hey ho. So, I have to keep myself entertained. So, I've started doing a lot more on Blender, uh, 3D animation, and 3D modeling, which is kind of where I got the idea from this. I was looking at some uh, small contracts. I do a bit of freelancing contracts using some popular websites uh, and one of them they it was someone asking for a 3D representation of some architects drawings for a small shopping arcade kinda looks similar to this, it's kinda where I got the idea from, I was messing around on Blender with that and came up with this originally I didn't know what I was going to build but it kinda ended up turning into this I had just been messing around with that so don't be surprised I might throw one or two of my blender animations up here um, not particularly interesting as I don't do 3d character design or character modeling it's a lot of it's boring stuff it's building and architectural structuring but the processes are quite good and I have been messing around uh, with one of I believe it's one of No Respawn's uh, builds that he's done I've started doing a architectural modelling on that on Blender just to hone my skills a bit more so I might actually put that up obviously I'll ask him first if he's okay with that I might put one of his models up see how it turns out well, yeah, anyway back to the video as you can see I my perfectionist part came in again and I had to move the middle structures just so they were perfectly in line and then you find as I go on these front boards take me absolutely ages to do and by the end of it I haven't got them all perfectly lined but it turns out when you put the stores in it really doesn't matter if they're perfect because the front of the stores going to block it anyway so anyway hey ho what can you do I'm terrible, I get bored. Very easily. Speaking of, uh, there will be some more building videos and decorating videos, a couple of walkthroughs and everything coming up. I've just got to think of what settlements to build up and what to build there. So anybody with any ideas or if there's anything any of you guys want to see, please let me know in the comments below. And I've got plenty of time on my hands at the moment. I'm sure I'll be able to throw something together and throw a video together. Any ideas for anything that you want to see in any of my settlements or in any of my builds, again, let me know. I am a big one for junk decoration. So, whereas my wife has to sit through me actually building a structure for two, three hours and me getting bored, she also then has to sit through me decorating it for another four or five hours. Obviously not all in the same day because, again, like I say, perfectionist to start with, get bored very easily. But, that's what we're, that's what we all do it for. Bit of fun. Hate people who take this too seriously. And I don't know if you heard that in the background, that's the wife looking at me and laughing. It's obviously not very fun for her, but it is fun for me. And that's what it's all about. Uh, to be honest, I couldn't actually tell you what I was doing at this point for some reason. I'm looking at the shops and everything else and haven't even built the other side of the barn up or finished the front part. As I said, if I didn't know any better, I'd think I had HDAD or H H ADHD. Sorry, I had to wait to be corrected there. Because I start something and then get bored and then move to a different job and then move back to it and then get bored and then go on to a completely different job and end up with four or five tasks completely a mess 
and none of them done. Not even halfway, some of them. But I do eventually get back to them. I was saying that um, I was supposed to be doing the garden at my house three months before I got injured and never even started it. Now my excuse is I'm injured, I can't do it. So the wife's been out with a pair of scissors and shears and cutting grass and eh, gotta love it. Uh, we go back to this again. I think this is where I get really bored with trying to place them so I don't bother placing them brilliantly. I just kind of throw them in so they're, they're covering the spaces that they're supposed to be. I can say 46 minute video it is a little a little long. Uh, even my wife's falling asleep apparently. You just sit in the corner and colour your book. Good girl. Without the swearing please. There's no need for the swearing. And there's no need for the hand gestures either. See, as soon as I mute this microphone or as soon as I finish this, she's going to beat me up. She's like four foot nothing, but God, she's got a right hook that you really don't want to mess with. And if any of you can hear that, I have got a dog that's currently lied next to me and decided that she's going to snore now that I'm recording audio for a video. Been perfectly quiet, but yes, it is like nearly five past four in the morning on um, Sunday night slash Monday morning. As it turns out, if you don't do anything day to day, you tend not to sleep very well. Or in my case, I don't. And then I take some morphine, and you can't wake me up for twelve hours. Brilliant. Oh. Yeah, not 100% sure what I'm actually trying to do though. Uh, I think one of the panels that I put on the front started shaking, didn't look quite look right, so I altered that and then the rest of them seemed to start shaking a little. A bug I've come across quite a few times when I'm uh, doing the junk decoration, but to be honest, it's got to be the first time I've ever come across it when I'm doing the the actual building. See for a second there I went on to something completely different and then again have to come back to doing the doing these videos. Uh, like I said this is a 40 odd minute video on this one but my other videos won't be that long. It's, there's a lot more I could have trimmed out of this video and I will I will endeavour to edit the videos a lot more next time. Especially on the tutorials. Obviously you guys are going to get bored just sitting watching me do the same thing over and over. So I think in future videos anything like this so I'm going to re be repeating the same process. I'll do it once or twice and then skip the video ahead to where I'm moving on to something new. Should hopefully take a lot out of the videos. But as I said I'm new to this so the quality of videos isn't brilliant. The sound quality is not brilliant but... Hopefully I will get better as the channel gets better, the content grows and we move on to new more exciting things. With mods hopefully coming out for the PS4 at the end of this month. I know you guys on Xbox have already got it, you lucky sons of bitches. You guys are all having fun with that now. Uh, I have actually got another copy of Fallout 4 on the PC. Uh, so I could actually use mods on some of my builds if I want, but I, I tend to keep my building to the PS4. I, I don't really like it. The I don't know, some of the mods on PC seem to go a bit too far out there. Um, I, I am looking forward to seeing what mods people are going to come up with for the consoles, especially building wise, what we can use and how we can improve the builds. I am, I am really looking forward to that. Uh, you see me put these panels in here. I believe I take that corner panel out two or three times just to try and, especially when it comes to putting the electrics in. It becomes a bit of a nightmare trying to do the electrics, and I don't really like having all the connectors going round the outside of my builds. And I just. Uh, it makes it look a bit untidy. I 
kind of like it when on the outside of the builds you can't really see anything. Uh, you'll see with some of my other builds, especially my Sanctuary build, um, I use the lamp posts all the way through, so most of the settlement is completely lit up on the outsides with the lamp posts just to move the electric round. I don't like having a lot of generators around and a lot of different wiring coming off, so I tend to try and hide the wiring as much as possible. Obviously, in some cases, that's not always possible. Uh, yeah, on this side I've uh, gone, I try using the half height pieces again. Uh, I'm going to put the bar and the clinic on this side. So I kind of think, especially with the bar, if I can put a half height piece on and get that to clip into place, it looked quite good from the bar and you've just got a seating area at the side. Uh, same with the clinic on the other side, the waiting area, but again, my f perfectionist part got in the way of me and I couldn't get it to clip into place so it ended up going for the the full height pieces which I I believe the end result it turned out quite quite alright it's not the best build I've ever done but I don't know I, I think it looked quite good I'm quite pleased with the with the final outcome apart from the decoration part uh, I haven't really decorated it much. I haven't put any junk decorations or anything in. With having all the vendors going back and forth and people walking through it, they tend to knock all the decoration out the way too much and it's it's too much messing around coming back every time you're on the settlement to put everything back in place and it takes up I don't know, sometimes you just want to go on it for fun and I don't know about you guys but we meet it if I put something in a place and one of the settlers has knocked it off, it irritates me. So I have to put it back into place and then by the time I've done all that, I've been on it for 3-4 hours. Uh, as you notice, sir, I kind of skipped forward. It was taking a little long there, but I skipped forward. It's That side uh, on the roof and on the upper floor sort of thing is just literally a mirror image of the other side. Except I'm only going to be putting two stalls on the left hand side. Oh. Again, because I know I've got to do the panels at the front of the shops again, I skip ahead and go to something different. That and I think my w either, I believe my wife came up with uh, the name for it and I just thought, oh, if I put that in now it's, it's probably better because otherwise when I actually come round to doing it I'll completely forget, call it something different and I think, well... I was an idiot, why didn't I use the name that she came up with in the first place? That and you've got to hate that I told you sort of face. It's never a good face, it's not what you want to see, ever. And I get that on a very regular basis. As luck has it, she's not really looking at me much now, she's too engulfed in her coring, otherwise I'd be getting the evil stir and the eyebrow lift. Which can be cute sometimes, but uh, you just know, you, you pick up on the faces of how much trouble you're in. Right. Uh, apologies, I believe on the first time I spelt this wrong. Um, I am dyslexic, so my spelling is atrocious. I normally get the wife to spell check everything, but I think at this point she'd gone shopping or doing something. What was that day? No, you hadn't gone to bed. This I did this during the day. I, this wasn't a late night video. This is a video I I'm, I mean, it's quarter past four on Monday morning now, but this is a video that I recorded over a three, four hour period during the week. It's just going through the four hours of raw footage took me a lot longer than I thought it did. So hoping to have this video up for Friday night and I was going to follow it up either today or possibly tomorrow with uh, another video for the Boston Barn build just to show the the finished result. 
Yeah, like I say, I am doing a a few other builds. My Spectacle I Island, sorry, my Spectacle Island build is starting to come along. I'm just, especially now that I've got the barn tabs and everything, I'm thinking of put, turning it into a sort of a an old farming colony. Uh, Providing I can get the Bahamian and the the crops and everything in place, put a few barns in the rustic field, shack housing, um, and then obviously the dock for the dock's going to be my main thing. Every time I try putting a pier on there at the minute, it's I don't know, it just doesn't look right. Obviously, the old farming colonies used to have the piers for sending all the produce and the meat and the milk and everything else out so I'm thinking that would be a it'd be a good space to have um, I don't know an overall supply settlement as such that provides uh, most of my water and my food just so that my other settlements I can concentrate on fancier builds like the arena build and everything um, so my dog's oh, getting attacked by a fly and she's not happy about it, so she's me. jumping all over me. Yes, I'm talking about you. Stop licking your lips and looking at me, I'm not food. You've eaten already. But yeah, my, my Spectacle Island build, I'll, I'll start to show a few bits and bats from it. Uh, a couple of the builds. Obviously it's not going to have anything like this, where it's got the shopping arcade or anything. I'm gonna go for a I don't know, a proper colonial feel on it, I'm thinking. Especially now that we've got the barn tabs and everything it the less concrete I can use the better. Um I mean, even the barn floors that are in this uh I won't be using so much on my my Spectacle Island build. I'm gonna go for the the wooden shack floors and uh, the shack floors in the wood section that are on stilts to try and level it out rather than concrete foundations. Oh, the concrete just doesn't. They never really had concrete in colonial times, and I want to try and stick as true to that as I can. So, like I say, I'll show bits and bats of the build as I go along and different buildings that I put in there, the odd one or two. And then I'll do an overall, an overall tour of it. So that's to come in the future, but I'm not going to give any dates or times or anything for that because knowing me, it'll probably take me three weeks to do the pier on it, let alone anything else. And I have got the location now that I'm going to put my central barn in. Uh, do a few paddocks coming off there. Kind of waiting for the mods, see if we get any any extra mods for the I don't know the, to make the barn look more like a colonial barn um, things to do with the Bahamian and things like that I, I believe someone on the PC has brought out a, a milk mod that you can actually sell I don't know the script somehow makes it so the Bahamian also produce milk which turns up in your um, your workbench that you can sell kind of like your purifiers make your purified water so as well as fertilizer from the barn and you also get milk and then if you're so inclined you can slaughter them and get the meat from them but, uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to get the Baham into my to my settlements, I haven't quite figured that out yet, so if anybody knows, if you could let me know in the comments, and also let me know if there's a, a limit to the amount that we can have. I, from what I'm told, using the... I'm not sure if you can use the... Uh, the traps to catch Bahamian, and they'll stay in your settlement as long as you've got the feeders or anything, I don't know if that works. Uh, kind of hoping it does, um, same with the rag stags, uh, stags even, uh, terrible sorry, again it's 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm quite tired, um, if the rag stags, rag stags, 
rag stags, uh, the the two headed deer things that are on this. If if you can capture them in the in the traps and actually use them to and keep them in pens, that'd be ideal. It means I can have some of them in the pens, and obviously I can kill them for the meat and everything else. Uh, if that does work, it's also something I'm going to incorporate into my survival, my survival playthrough, which I'm going to start doing videos for that at the end of this week. I've got the first, I've got the first hour of footage. Well, I've got a few hours of footage, which will probably turn into. Uh, and I'm going to try and keep the survival videos to a 45, 45, 50 minute maximum. So people don't get too bored, but obviously we can make some progress in each one of them. Uh, I mean, I've seen a couple of the survival playthroughs. I know quite a few people are doing them on YouTube now, but some of them have got two and a half hour episodes, which I think is a bit too long. I tend to get bored towards the end of it. And then on the other hand, people have got 20 minute episodes where either they don't make any progress or the footage is that edited you don't see them making any of the progress I mean my footage will be heavily edited but that's purely because I'll probably die every 20 minutes but uh, never mind 20 seconds I'm not that bad on it I'll, I'll probably die at least the footage you guys will see I've probably died three four times to make that footage for that one video I don't know I seem to be doing really really well and then I step on a mine Yep, getting back to this video, as you can see, I've not really spoke about it much, even though it's supposed to be a tutorial. Um, I've kind of gone with um, no respawns approach to doing this, uh, using the rug glitch to get the shops in, so they've each... Rather than his view where they've all got their individual huts, um, I've kind of gone for this. I think RTC some done something similar as well, where he's done the um, he's done like a promenade coming off the pier with all his shops and everything on. I think he did something similar as well. I've not actually watched his video, but I have I have seen a quick walkthrough of it of the f finished result of his. Again, I think that's his spectacle island build. But yeah, I, I do like some of his build. I think he has some really good ideas and no respawns as well. Uh, also, Mad Queen. Uh, I'm, I've subscribed to all three of them. Um, I'll leave links in the description of this video to to their pages. Especially no response. If you're looking for ideas for builds, uh, you want to do complicated looking builds, but don't really know how. If you take a look at his videos, his tutorials are brilliant on how to do these and how to make shops. He does random little videos and walkthroughs. It's also good fun to watch when he streams live as well. He tends to talk about all sorts. And the one thing that, he, for some reason, I think on his last one, everybody wanted to talk politics. So that was quite funny. Um, being British, he had a lot of American followers and they wanted to talk politics. And Well, us British don't really know much about American politics and as a nation you'd probably guess that we don't even care about our own politics to be honest as far as we're concerned it doesn't matter which Muppet we actually put in there they're all going to mess it up all the same so yeah what do you do I don't know about you guys uh, sorry what was that yes yeah, so I'm going to move on from politics I'll, I'll not get started on politics while the wife sat here because she tends to get in the right strop about it. She hates them all. She's not racist in any way, shape or form when it comes to politics. Uh, she hates them all equally. Much as I do. But yeah, I think this is about as far as I go for showing you on putting the actual shops in place. Like I say, if, to give you a proper talk through with them, um, it's basically using the rug glitch where... You use one small rug, one large rug, uh, place whatever it is you're trying to move on top of that. And using the small rug, if you just pick the small rug up, uh, the glitch makes it so you pick everything up that's connected to it. But it only goes 
off the um I can't think of the word off the top of my head. Um it all it basically it all goes off the placement of the small rug. So as long as your small rug isn't interfering with a wall or anything else, um if anybody can think of the word for that, if you put it in the comments it'd be much appreciated. Otherwise I'm suddenly gonna shout out in the middle of the night what it is and scare the wife half to death. But yeah, as you can see me there just because I'm only picking the small rug up and there's no obstacles in the way of the small rug it's only going off that so it doesn't matter where the the actual shop itself or the large rug is uh, because it literally is only picking up off the small rug I can move them anywhere move them halfway between a wall or anything it looks a lot makes it putting things in tighter spaces a lot easier and putting these shots through and then I actually notice here that I've got the wrong clothing store and I've just gone for the small one and I think the main thing with doing this build is I started off with 20,000 caps and ended up with 6,000 at the end of it cost me a lot buying these shops especially since I ended up having to buy a couple of them two or three times because I kept doing the same thing there I kept going for the lower tier instead of the tier 3 as you can see I get the tier 3 now and do the same again with the rug glitch and just get that in finally get it into place um, if you're wondering why I've left the rugs on um, I'm going to finish the build go away come back in a little while and take the rugs out because uh, at the moment every time I take the rugs out the shops fall through the floor so they're kind of only just sticking through but if you ever come across that problem if you just leave them in place for a bit carry on with your build, go away, fast travel to somewhere else uh, I tend to have to fast travel to pick up more resources so if I do that I pop when I come back I normally take the rugs away and for some reason it doesn't they don't seem to glitch through the floor after that uh, no idea why uh, as you can see I'm, I'm adding the two extra floor pieces there that's literally to give me a bit more breathing space as I'm trying to maneuver the shops in because it's such a tight space uh, that I'm trying to get the shops in and everything I can't adjust the shops forward or backwards enough without stepping into the walls or so I've removed the walls and just added another floor so I don't drop down and I can't see where it actually is and I don't know why I'm doing it even though you guys can't actually see me I'm talking with my hands I'm doing a Gordon Ramsay and speaking with my hands and my hands are going everywhere and my wife's looking at me weird my dog wants to bite me so yeah, I'm having a fun day I think after I've recorded this I'm either going to get bitten or slapped I'm not quite sure which yet and you see me with this one I must mess around with this one stupid amounts of time trying to find level ground but for some reason every time I put Every time I put the bar on this, I think it is, um, for some reason it just falls through the rug, it won't, it won't do it. I, I have actually cut a lot of this out, but I think I go around three quarters of the settlement trying to find somewhere straight. Sorry, excuse me. Trying to find somewhere flat to actually do it, but no matter where I do it, the bar falls through. So I end up doing the other rug glitch here and just using the small rug and pressing holding uh, the X button uh, A I think it is if you're on Xbox and if I remember correctly E if you're on PC and uh, it selects everything in the local area it's just the only problem you've got with that rug glitch is once you've got the thing in that's it you can't adjust it again without taking it out and starting again because if you try doing that rug glitch again then you select the whole building uh, which I do in a little while in fact I've cut it out but I do actually do that in this build it selects everything moves the building and when I put it back none of the lighting's working so I have to go back and redo all the pick the lighting up put it back in its place to do that lighting all glitches out on me oh, I think I just used the that rug glitch again now just to put the clinic in place oh no I'm going for the big one to see if the see if the clinic will play nice and whether it was just a bar 
sorry a quick sip of coffee there I'm starting to get a dry throat obviously because of the licensing rules on here using this game you have to have a constant voiceover or commentary so if you're all sick of hearing my voice I am very very sorry uh, I do do impressions but they're really poor ones so I'm not going to do them on here uh, I think if when I listen back to this my voice is really really boring and irritating by the end of it future videos I get my wife to speak on it a bit well she she does a lot of speaking in the background I don't know if you guys can hear her but she does a lot of speaking and taking the mic and sticking her tongue out and laughing at me so why not get her involved especially since she wants me to buy her the Kingdom of Hearts um, game for the PlayStation and uh, also the Crash Bandicoot so I decided I'm going to make a deal with her if she wants them games and she's got to let me record them and she's got to let me record her playing them we'll put some of them videos up just to change it up a bit I did promise I wouldn't take the mick out of her but she has got to do her own commentary for her own videos I will turn her into a gamer girl even if it kills her if it's going to kill me I'll not bother but if it kills her it's all part of the process and I just got the birdie oh and the dirty look and the pouty face you carry on doing your colouring you Your mother's not allowed near this house for more than 20 minutes in any one space of time. As much as I love my mother-in-law to bits, um, it's a nice way of putting this. We irritate each other quite a lot, very easily. So we tend to keep our time together in the same room at a minimum. Not that I don't like her or anything else, it's not the typical, oh god, the in-laws are coming round, it's... We have different views on absolutely everything. I'm same with my father-in-law, I have absolute opposite views to him on 90% of things. Which, in most cases, happens for everybody. Really not a good thing when you used to work for your father-in-law. Embarrassing him on a construction site probably wasn't the smartest thing I ever did. Funny for me at the time. Possibly in hindsight not the best thing I ever did. Well I'm trying to move on with the game but I'm just doing a little bit of lighting and decoration. I've been pondering with this for ages and trying to think of a way of decorating the bars and making the bars look a bit better only thing I can think to do is using the mirror balls and the interchangeable colours just to try and get it to I don't know look a bit more like a bar than just another sitting area in uh, in any anything else well yeah in a doctor's office I the light the way I did the lighting in here um most of the main lighting is actually behind the stalls, at the back of the stalls. Uh, just so that the, the central part of it wasn't lit up too brightly. Purely for that reason, I didn't want the whole place to look like the inside of a medieval doctor's office sort of thing. Uh, yeah, with the bench and everything else in, I mean, this part is meant to be a doctor's office. Um, I put this in a, a small table I was going to put a selection of magazines and everything in but every time I did like I say people the settlers kept knocking them off and it was doing my head in the collectible magazines and I didn't want them losing so eventually I just decided not to put anything on it if they can't play nice they don't get no toys simple as that they'll sit there and be bored and wait for the doctor and then be really annoyed when they find out that the doctor is just another settler that decided to put a white coat on and think he was something good. But, yeah, coming towards the end of the build now, um, as you can see here, I've kind of skipped around a bit. 
Um, my dog has just decided that she's going to pass wind while sat next to me. And I've got one of the two main breeds of dogs that love to make a smell. Well, there's three main breeds. You've got the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, the Rottweiler, and the Mastiff. And I have the Rottweiler. And she doesn't do them silently, but she also does them very smell. Oh, good God. Whew. That's a bit of a... What are you feeding this girl? Oh, night. Both think dog eats better than I do. Beef casserole. But yeah, guys. Uh, basic decorations in here, and just mainly with lighting and everything else. Coming to the end of it now. Uh, you'll have a quick walkthrough. But just like to take the chance to say thank you very much. Uh, I'm being your host, Ian, and thank you for watching our game. Thanks. Bye. Ain't looking.